Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am showing you guys how to do this look. We're going from natural afro to this glam puff and we're going to be using some clippings. I really like this look, it's really really easy, like five minutes and then you're done. So let's get into it. Do you guys remember how messed up my hair was after I came back from St. Lucia when I just neglected it for the carnival season and I did that little chop? Look at the thickness now, look at it. It's not transparent, it is just, and it's shrunken as well, so bear that in mind. But yeah, I've just been protecting it in wigs, I've left it alone, I do deep conditions and washes, but that doesn't take me very long, about 10 to 15 minutes and 20 minutes for a deep condition. Gone are the days where we thought we had to spend hours, hours, not even hours, days, doing our hair. Like a whole weekend you'd be like, no sorry I can't go out, I'm washing my hair. Nope. Yeah. I Actually I really love my afro, I really really do. I love when it's out like this. But it's winter and we're not going to keep it out for too long because gotta protect that hair. Do you know what's funny? Rooney hasn't seen my actual afro yet. I mean he's seen like photos and videos and stuff but he hasn't actually got to play with it and you know I'm saving that. I want to make a video to show my hair to him um, and get his reaction and then yeah, see if he's gonna treat me like every other person who sees natural hair for the first time and just goes, oh my god, but then he'll be allowed to do that because you know, he's my man, so yeah. I'm just sitting next to the cute little flowers that he got me, they're just, they're just here, let me show you guys. They're just sitting there looking all pretty, opened up. Mm, I don't wanna get rid of them, they're just so cute. So I'm going to be using my Her Given Her extensions, my clip-ins, to create this look. And you guys have seen this before, they are not new, I've had them for a year and a bit now. They're the bomb, you guys. Like you just fluff it out, put a little spray conditioner in there, fluff it out some more, and then, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Where? Where? <laughs> It just blends. This is their kinky hair, so it's closest to 4C, but if you spray it enough and you sort of pull it out, then it can be 4B-ish, you know? So it works very well with my hair. It's a little, little bit lighter than my hair, but that's okay because, you know, when the sun hits my hair and light hits it, it's all different colors. What I have done, I have put them into twists. So I've done a little Bantu knot out on my clippings. And it's really easy to do, you guys. Get a tiny bit of leave-in conditioner, rub it onto the hair, and of course you use a comb and detangle it, you guys. But then I just twist it, like you would twist your own hair. And then once you get to the end, you literally just knot it around. And I left that for a couple of hours. And then I just open the whole thing out. You might want to put a little bit of oil on your fingertips so you can take these out. And I'm going to make a separation in the middle of my hair. So I've just separated my hair in half. It's not neat. It doesn't have to be. I'm just going to pin these in. Then you make another separation. Just a little further down. So I've got about an inch to two inches of thickness between the second one. second one's going to go here. And again, I'm going to do the same thing. I just put a little bit of oil on my fingertips and unravel the hair. Okay, and then I'm going to put one in the front. All I'm going to do right now is just use a ponytail to put the hair into place. So really easy, just like that. We're not doing anything much right now. And then I'm gonna prepare the edges and smooth it down. And on my natural hair, I don't really do this baby hair thing and laying them like that because my natural hair doesn't do it like that. So I'm not gonna force it or make it go into baby hair. My hair is full grown adult hair. So now I get a bristle brush and I really brush that in. And now I can get the real thing that I'm going to tie my hair with and it's never usually a ponytail, it's usually a stocking. And I like to spread them out like this and then I can put it as high as I need it to go. And then I tie that into a little bow. So now I can take this out. So the extra hair is just to make the puff look much bigger. And I left my hair in an afro puff, I didn't bantu knot my hair as you guys saw and the only reason for that is because my hair is medium length and if I bantu knotted it, it would look a lot shorter. It would look much more um, shrunken than 
it does now so this is much better and I'm just stretching out the Bantu knotted hair so then it had some curl and some texture to it okay guys so this is the hairstyle that's it really easy really simple I'm now gonna just do my makeup so this is the finished look you guys I hope you like it I think it's really really cute I'm feeling it if I do say so myself. Now I'm sure if I didn't show you guys exactly how I did this, you wouldn't even know where my real hair starts and where the clippings end. So I hope you enjoyed the video guys and I will see you in my next one. Love and kisses guys. Bye.